Hi guys, today we're going to react to Kizuna no Kiseki, which translates to Miracle of Our Bond by Man with a Mission and Malay. This was a buy me a coffee request by DJ Paz. Thank you, DJ Paz, for yet another request. Thanks, DJ Paz. We appreciate the support. I don't know the band, nor the artist that uh, is working with them. Yeah, me neither. Um, as far as I know, Man with a Mission... Our band and Millet is a uh, singer songwriter who joins them on this track collaboration. <laughs> どこへ向かう月明かりだけが叩き一つの道しるべ痛みも悲しみも拭ききれず彷徨うこの胸の炎で刺せない歯が溜めに僕たちはこの思いを貫いて闇を咲き日の下で First thing that catches your attention, of course, is the awesome rhythm and high energy. I'm loving it. There's nothing that's coming out of Japan that I haven't absolutely loved so far. It sounds kind of familiar, like an amalgamation of, of many bands that I know, of, of styles that I love. And uh, of course, the visuals are amazing. This is a very high profile uh, music video. So far, I'm enjoying it. And I'm also loving the two voices. Can't wait to hear more. The first thing that caught my eye was obviously the, I want to say wolves, bears. What are they supposed to be? Bears. <laughs> Bears. Yeah, I'm not sure. From this angle now on that pause, it looked like a like a, some kind of a wolf, maybe. But that's what caught my eye first. I was like, okay, so they are masked, you know, like like certain bands do do that mm -hmm. kind of thing, you know, like uh, Slipknot and, and yeah. whoever else. Ghost. Um, yeah, that caught my eye. That was the first thing. Then it it really uh, uh, was the um, the rhythm, which has in the beginning. Kind of like a really cool rocking sound. Then their voices did kind of catch me because his voice is really great. And then hers is just really complimentary. It's it's fantastic as well. And they work well together. And then when they hit the chorus, what caught me was the... It's a very mainstream sound. You mm -hmm. know, it, it brings a lot of pop into that rock. So it's, it's sort of a pop rock mainstream yeah. uh, track. It kind of makes sense because it's a theme song for the upcoming, or maybe it's already been released by now, um, new Demon Slayer movie. Something we are not yeah. very familiar with. We don't know the, the series of films. We don't know what they're about, if it's live action or anime or something. But it's obviously big in Japan. This song apparently has had a lot of success, which which I could I can see why. You know, it would have a pretty cool mainstream appeal. You know, to a lot of people. Sounding very good so far. I'm enjoying it. Like we once uh, reacted to a Lonesome Blue song, uh, which had this epic sort of Mission Impossible theme accompanying it. The same thing is, I think, uh, I can identify here, especially at the beginning of the song. It's awesome. I'm loving it. It's uh, it's just uh, something that I've noticed. And uh, yeah, I think they're, they're bears, not wolves. <laughs> It's either a wolf with a serious thyroid problem or a bear, so it's a yeah. bear. I I, th I thought bear at first, but if you look at the at the, at the pause there, you can see the drawing on the amps behind him and on the drums. I think it looks like wolves, so I don't know. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Tagaino 
I can easily imagine it as being the soundtrack of a show or film, like you said. I think even if you hadn't said anything, that's what I feel. I always keep comparing songs to what film they can accompany. It's got an anthemic sound. It sounds like, yeah. like a real sort of like a rock, pop rock anthem. It's really uh, one of those that kind of sweeps you and, and, and takes you along. And also there are some sounds of some um, traditional Japanese instruments in there as well, which I am enjoying. And the video clip, yeah, it looks like a, like a very, very sort of grand kind of thing, a, a high budget type of setup. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing, sounds great. Definitely curious about this band. Um, as far as um, uh, lyrics, which we usually delve into and talk about, I don't think we can quite do it here because I think in the lyrics here is based on what is what happened in the film or at least it yeah. feels that way so it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly where it wants to go or what it means and we are not familiar with this uh, demon slayer characters whatever so it's kind of possibly best that we don't um, respond to that. Millet's voice, there's a lower register there that yeah. sounds uh, very unique and fantastic. I really liked it. Like I, I noticed it more um, in this section than, than the first, but it, it kind of straight away sort of perked my ears and it's like, oh, hang on a second. This is yeah. what her voice sounds like. This is really cool. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it feels if anything that she's not trying to dominate the song. It reminds me of what, uh, what Rihanna usually does when she accompanies a song before she does her solos. Yeah, yeah. It seems like there's a real, uh, um, I don't know, maybe harmonious kind of connection uh, mm -hmm. between, you know, the two voices from a, a, like an organic standpoint. It sounds like it's really melding together really well. Yeah. Yeah. I think for the sake of the song, she's limiting the energy that's coming out of her. Yeah. 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 Nobody's trying to overtake one another or anything yeah. like that. Nobody's trying to, to show off. They're both doing it for the song. Yeah. Professionals. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's sounding great. <laughs> Yeah. Very cool. A, like you said, it's a very mainstream vibe. There's an uplifting tone to the entire song that kind of makes me think about the nature of the of the show itself, of the sorry, of the film itself. It's probably not the darker variety, assuming just because of, of the vibe. I mentioned before, I don't even know if it's live action or anime, or, but yeah, it, it has like a sort of a fantastic feel to it. So it might yeah. be one of the like fantasy plus, you know, the title has yeah. this, some kind of a dark element to it, but um, don't know. Um, but apparently it's very popular over there and and um, and I can see why the song is also very popular. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, their voices are perfect for this sort of uh, pop rock mainstream kind of blend. This song kind of swept me away with it. I didn't know what they were saying, what it was about. I didn't even know if there were bears or wolves. It didn't matter. Um, it looks fantastic yeah. and it sounds great. So yeah, yeah I, I really enjoyed it. It is great introduction to to both acts, you know, to the band and to her, to yeah. Millet. Yeah. And, one more thing. I don't know Millet as an artist, but one thing that's happening here that I haven't felt 
uh, and previous artists that we've reacted to, it feels like her voice has a, a richness to it that we have yet to listen to. I'm sure if we react to more of her songs, we'll see a, a very wide spectrum of sounds that you can make. Quite possibly. Yeah. I guess I guess we'll find out. If we get more requests for her, we'll definitely find out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is another another great introduction from uh, DJ Paz, bringing us uh, uh, you know another two fantastic acts that we've never seen before, never heard before. So yeah, thanks DJ Paz. We appreciate the support and we appreciate you bringing all this new stuff to us. Really awesome. Yep, thanks a lot, DJ Paz. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the little bell icon so you'll get notified on all our future videos. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me A Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you all for sticking with us. Thank you all for your time. This performance is from 1983. I was three <laughs> back then. And and this, this song has been accompanying me throughout my childhood. I have micro flashbacks from when I was in kindergarten listening to this song. I completely forgot how much I love it. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you putting in the time to view, to engage, and everything else you do to support us. Without you, there would be no show. We'll be back in a couple of days with a new episode. We hope to see you then. Bye for now, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>